Hello, and welcome to Getsu Fumiden, Undying Moon. This game just released in 1.0, and I've been playing it in early access, and it is so much fun. It has a lot of, um, kind of like a Dark Soul or Dark Souls, uh, Dead Cells vibe to it. Okay, so we're going to do a quick little, I'm gonna, just going to show you guys a little bit of this. It's very, it has a lot in it. it it's a lot of upgrading. There's tons to do in this game. The art design in this game is fantastic. Unless you don't like busy art styles, but I like it. I think it's really, really cool with the background being so alive. Kind of makes you feel like you're actually more in the game. So you have your standard, like, you know, jumping, diving kind of moves here. Right now we're rocking a katana. You can pick up these things. These things are for unlocking new items or abilities eventually in the game. So here in the pause menu, you have your katana. You have a spiny punisher. And all these come with different uh, uh, different traits that are unlockable. And some of them, when, you, when they drop on the map, will have only a couple things on them. Some of them will be like fully unlocked. It's It's got a lot of options in it. You, every weapon has like a main attack and then a special. The sword has like a, a parrying move. It's not going to work on that guy. And there's also, I'll point it out here before I forget, lots of lots of uh, different little screens to go to here. Inventory, there's your progress, like different runs, right, that you've done. That's times. It keeps track of all that for you on different areas. Uh, settings, in settings there's a tutorial that you don't have to go through, but it has a very in-depth tutorial of everything in the game. I still have to figure some stuff out myself. Here's your loot. Get all kinds of stuff, weapons dropping out of those big chests. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna swap. Oh, you know what? We'll swap this in. And then you can destroy the weapons, and it gives you more materials for unlocking items. You can pick up these things. I'm gonna call it a soul. And you can use those to upgrade at the bottom. So right now, if I hit my right joystick in, it go, that goes up to a one. Big guy down. There we go. It's a very, very cool game. You have to stack those little souls to... Um, if I wanted to get another health potion, I'd have to get four of them without spending any. And then I could use it to get a health potion, for example. So we're just going to do a quick little... This, this video is just going to be like a quick introduction to the game, but I'm like obsessed with this game. It is so fun. We'll eventually get more weapons that we can use. We'll see there's ranged weapons. Here we go. Uh, magic bloodthirsty bow. Right? So it comes with its own set of abilities and everything. Uh, here's the repu. It's also one. So you get your you get two items for there that you can use for ranged attacks, right? And they usually do pretty big damage. You can get a you can mix and match. Get some really good combinations of weapons going here. Spears a lot of fun. Break down the whip. Ooh. Yeah, so it's a very, very cool game, I find. Um, I have not beaten it myself yet. I've only played, like, uh, I'd say maybe... Maybe 10-ish hours in the game. I have a lot more to unlock. These things are kind of like a, a story thing, right? So I'm the sole, the sole gourmet of the Getsu clan. My journey in search of delicacies led me to hell. Where I consumed a monster. I'll let you imagine how it tasted. And th these things are going to drop you a health potion. As well as a material pouch. Or upgrading. Well, We can only carry three right now. That's all I have unlocked. So we'll wait on that. There, I just got hit. Can I roll one of these underneath the ground? Oh. <laughs> Not that good. Oof. 
Well, there we go. I can drink a health potion. I can go pick one up. It didn't give that didn't give me much, did it? Wow. What did it give me for health? Not a ton. Okay. Ow. Oh, I'm looking the wrong way. I fire on the bow. Oh boy. Now we can get a gun. We can get the rifled musket. It has a red ability on it, so I'm going to take that for sure. That's going to be really, really strong. Oops. You can double jump in this as well. Pretty standard for these kind of games. So I don't know. For me, I feel like this game's got a lot of dead cells type vibe to it. Which is a good thing, I think. So it can be maybe a bit of a grind to get everything unlocked. These are your fast travel points, right? So when you go here, it'll pull up your map. You can bounce around wherever you got to go. But yeah, 1.0 just released. And I've really been enjoying this game, so... I intend to keep on playing it more and more. Uh, yeah, we'll put that on there. It's better than the one we have as far as just overall damage. And I don't know everything about the game yet. There. You can see here now at the bottom we've stacked four of those so I can get myself another health potion. Um. Yeah, we'll take it. There we go. But yeah, this is something that you can totally speed run and have some real fun with it. I think it's got a lot of potential that way. Power this thing up to show it off. <laughs> Get wrecked. And there's lots and lots of stuff to unlock in this game. I've just started to scratch the surface of it. When you first start, it, it could feel like you maybe you're never going to unlock anything. There's our first boss fight. We'll go in there soon. These are the shops, these yellow ones. You can go in here. You can raise the weapon ranks that you have. All right, so you can go in here and spend souls that you've been picking up off of. There's like, uh, I don't know, their bodies sitting on the ground. They're kind of like just sitting in a pose, and they will give you a currency to upgrade with. So let's go over here. We'll go to our gun because it's pretty good. And you pick up gold too, right? So if we go there, 500 gold and two. So you can see it's going to give us a big damage jump. That's that. This part, I'm not 100% sure how this works. Really? There, I just activated that ability. So I guess that's what that is. You go here and you can activate abilities. Some of them, I guess, don't come with activated abilities at the start. You have to go in and actually into the shop and activate them. And then you, of course, can buy weapons from the shop. There's usually two shops on the floor, one with weapons and one with uh, upgrade materials. It's also entirely up to you how much you how much exploring you want to do on each individual map as you go. Right, like we can go up if we want, we can check some things out, get get all the things unlocked, or we can just jump right to the boss fight, which we're gonna do in this video just because we're using it as an example. So here's our first boss. I've fought and beat this guy quite a few times now, so it's not such a difficult fight now for me. He does big damage, though. There we go. We took out one part of it. Swap to our spear. And you can see his heart back there. That's what we're really... Focusing on. Oh, 
heal up. I'm not too concerned about this guy. Ow. Okay. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. There we go. Once we blow up this heart... Probably gonna be good. There we go. And it's over. That's the first boss fight. And then they usually drop a few bags of uh, goodies to upgrade with. This chest drops four of these glowing orb thingies so that you can pick what you want to uh, go with here. So we'll go here, here. Yeah, I'm gonna go health. Yeah, I'll do that. Go main again. And then the shop people are here again, so you can upgrade again. There's more options here. This is like at your home base. So you have training. Of course, look at all these things. Look at all this stuff. I haven't, Most of it I haven't even discovered yet, right? Takes a bit to unlock these. You can see I've only got held. It says held on the top right there. 37. And you need 50 to, to go up a rank of this. I've ranked these up once. Or some of these have gone up one time. But yeah, I'm nowhere near having all this. There's so much to unlock in this game, guys. And then you can go in here. Individual weapons. We'll see if we can find something. You have to pick up... You have to get fragments to unlock new weapons. That's from breaking down the weapons. Like, uh, to get these ones, I have to break down katanas to get the fragments to make new ones. Uh, let's go over here and see... So here, the Spiny Punisher has this thing here. It's saying we can upgrade it. Cost is 9 and 3, and we have 21 and 5. So that is now unlocked on that weapon. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Here you can rank up our weapons again if we wanted to, right? So we can go in here, rank weapon, and... I don't know if I have... I don't have enough to do that. It gets pretty expensive. And you can pick your, your next maps. Uh, proceed to Hellfire Cliff. Great Wave of Damnation. Or... I don't have that unlocked yet. You can go back to the Clan Estate and you, get, you lose your weapons, but you get to keep some of the currency that you're carrying. Right, so it'll say return to the Getsu Clan Estate... Stage progress and equipment will be lost, but all items will be brought back. So that's that's okay. Like if you if you want to just go and do some upgrading. Of course you'll have to beat the first level again, but it's not a it's no, I don't mind that system. Yeah, so the there's that. The, the, here you can pick your difficulties. I've only got a couple different difficulties unlocked. Commoner. Ready for battle. There's Apprentice, right? So Apprentice is a little bit more difficult. You can go in here. Proceed to the Hall of Treasures. I, I, I assume eventually there'll be more in here as we go. But you can check your battle record. Evil Spirit record. It has a, it has a very detailed thing with all the enemies that you've discovered so far right pretty neat and the the artwork on these things is amazing i think it's so cool very very cool and that's it guys that's what i'm going to show you in this video just a quick introduction to getsu fumiden undying moon I think it's a very, very cool game. It just came out in 1.0 release. I recommend it. I think it's a really, really cool game. If you like side-scrolling, uh, action, platforming, roguelike games, I think it's a great one. Go check it out, guys. I will catch you on the next one.